hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new welcome if you're not new welcome back if you guys haven't subscribed already definitely subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded if you guys are interested in this full face only using $50 drugstore makeup look then stay tuned and keep on watching so basically you would have to have a full face and your limit is $50 so it's really difficult trying to find a full face on a budget so i actually did try and i do have all my products and the prices written down so that i could definitely let you guys know so we're just gonna get right into it i do have my skincare already done so i'm just gonna start getting into the face so i'm gonna get into my brows i'm gonna use my salon perfect done in one brow pomade in dark brown this retails for $3.55 which is great and you can find this at Walmart so brows are done they're very simple today um, I've got my brows on so I don't have to do much work to them so they're very very simple all they just need now is a cleanup and they'll be good concealer i'm gonna go in with my elf hd in the shade fair and this retails for three dollars so i'm gonna go in with a really flat brush so i previously got this morphe sponge highlight and contour beauty sponge this retails for eight bucks well this is not what i added in my thing but this sponge, I've used it once already this week, and it is so good. So this has really, really good pros. Just one con about it that I don't really like is it dries too fast. I'm going to take a little extra concealer onto the eyelids because I'm just going to use some bronzer on the eyelids. I'm not doing any eyeshadow. Um eyeshadow is not in my budget it was between eyeshadow and mascara with the lashes and I was not gonna leave out my mascara and my lashes so I'd rather leave out eyeshadow because I don't always wear eyeshadow anyways so I'd rather use my bronzer as my eyeshadow anyways moving on so I'm going to go into primer my current all-time favorite primer which is my elf Hydrating Face Primer, and this retails for $6. So for foundation, it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. A little disclaimer, most of these products will be Wet n Wild, um, will be e.l.f. as well, because those are my favorite brands. But um, because Wet n Wild currently at Ulta is having a sale, so I was like, why shouldn't I include this into my video since they're having a sale it fit right into my budget so this foundation is the like i said the wet n wild photo focus foundation in golden beige original price is 6.49 and now it's currently 4.19 so i don't uh, hopefully it goes good with this primer i really didn't like this before it was too, a little too matte for my skin and the smell is like terrible so hopefully this sort of matches me at the moment and it doesn't look so bad on the skin so let's test this out if this is not good then i'm definitely gonna have to switch around some products to fit into my budget <laughs> i look crazy right now so i'm gonna blend this out and hopefully this will work for me yeah, I'm not really liking this at all. Let me see it like really up close. Yeah, this is like really matte. From far, it looks good. But up close, it's okay. See how it goes with the e.l.f. concealer and the powder that I'm going to use? If it doesn't look so well, then I'm going to have to redo it. So back with the e.l.f. concealer, I'm going to conceal the under eyes my skin feels really dry right now foundation doesn't look like it has much coverage I bet if you could maybe build it up but I'm gonna build it up because like I said I feel like it would be more drying on the skin if I try to build it up so let's see how the concealer and the foundation go okay 
it's not bad i really really love this concealer like this concealer eliminates your dark circles but looking really flawless so the way the foundation is settling into the skin is not bad and of course the concealer i love but this is before powder i want to see how it is after powder like i said i'm on a budget so i decided to use this wet and wild mega glow contouring palette in caramel toffee so it has the yellow banana powder and then the contouring so i was thinking oh i could use the banana powder to set um my concealer and to clean under my contour and use that powder the bronzer as eyeshadow and as contouring so this retails for 549 but it's on sale for 349 which is amazing so i'm gonna take a big powder brush tap off the excess blend out the concealer once again and set i'm gonna set around the nose because i do get oily just in my t-zone area and the forehead but the rest of the skin i'm going to leave as so because this foundation is matte like i said so i'm gonna use this for bronzing so i'm gonna go in with a go with a firma 103 angled brush i'm just going to bronze lightly because this one is the one that i usually use for contouring the dulce de leche one is the one i use for bronzing but the powder that's with that one is more of a white powder so i like more of a banana powder for the skin so i'm gonna go lay hand this so this basically goes for bronzing and contouring since it is the darkest one then i'm gonna take the sponge and I'm going to test it out the sponge wet with the powder because I have not I don't usually do that I don't usually use wet sponges with powders because I do have really dry skin so I'm just going to clean up the bronzer a bit then I'm going to set my brows real quick and then brush off the powder I'm going to use my favorite brow gel my elf duo clear lash and brow gel i think that's what it's called this looks so funny oh god um and like i said this retails for two dollars i don't know if i said it did but it retails for two dollars the skin is not looking dry at all which is a plus um, I feel like it's because I didn't set the entire skin with so much powder. So I think it's doing good and I'm really liking how this is going. So next, I am going to go in back with the bronzer and just apply some in the crease all over the eyes. I'm going to take a Morphe M200 brush. I feel like if you put on like a really good pair of lashes, you don't need eyeshadow at all. Like even without bronzer on the eyes lashes still would look great like i feel like lashes just complete an entire look then i'm going to give myself a nice spray i was gonna use my elf makeup method set the large one but the, it is six dollars and if i wanted to add mascara to blend in my natural lashes with my falsies and also adding in a nice lip color then i had to cut my spray change my foundation and not add eyeshadow not add blush so so i'm gonna go with the wet and wild photo focus setting spray this retailed for this retails for 549 and it's on sale for 349 as that gets a little tacky i'm gonna go in with some highlighter the highlight, I have two here, but it's the same one. These retail for $4. These are the e.l.f. Big Highlighters. I have Midnight Pearls and Blush Gems. This is more of like a champagne highlighter, and this one is more of a pinky rose. Go in with a Zoeva Fan Brush and Midnight Pearls. I like to really dig into these big highlighters because it takes a while to get a good amount of product. So see if you dig a good amount, you get a good amount. Um, with these baked highlighters, you're supposed to scrape off the top layer and you would get a good amount of product. 
if I do the temple, the forehead a bit on the sides, the high point of the cheeks, the entire nose at the tip and the bridge, a bit on the cubit bow, and a bit on the chin, very, very lightly. I'm gonna go back into some more spray. Sits, I'm gonna go in with some lashes, mascara, then lips. So for lashes, I'm excited to use this pack of lashes because I have not used them yet. These are the e.l.f. Luxie Lash Kit in Winged and Bolded. These are like a new set of lashes they have. You can't really see in the packaging. This retails for four bucks. It comes with lashes and tweezers. You guys can tell. This is like a really nice flutter set. And then the last flow I'm going to use is my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in Clear. This retails for $3.99. Put it onto the eye to see if it's the right size. So I applied the lashes and I applied my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This retails for $6.99. The original one is, is a lot bigger, um, but this is in very black. I should actually reduce this to $3.99 since it's the smaller size. What you guys think? <laughs> Anyways, it still fits into my budget, so it's okay. Um, I did spray some of some more of the spray and I will spray some again soon let's just head into lips first because lips is I believe my last thing on my list this is the wet and wild mega last liquid katsu matte lipstick in rebel rose and in nudie patootie obviously I'm gonna be only using just one and I think I'm gonna go in with this mauve pink one because this one's been my favorite like i i used to be obsessed with this and then i stopped using it and it's not drawing on the lips at all so from seeing juicy jazz's video of her you know, all all about lips she talked about the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss i bought two so these retail for 2.99 one will be for liquid lipstick lipsticks lip liners if i want to just put like a nice gloss to it and then one would be just an all-around just gloss by itself because it will change color i'm debating whether if i should just do a lip gloss with this look or actual lip but since i don't have really much on the eyes i'm gonna go in with the lip liquid lipstick to see and no, i'm not gonna use no lip liner lip liner did not fit in my budget add the gloss just a little bit of gloss so then my total will be $49.98 for this entire look because I think I am all done so yeah I'm gonna add some gloss onto the lips yeah I like this with gloss and this gloss is just amazing so that's it with the gloss yes this is super cute so I'm gonna spray it one more time this is the entire look with just $49.98, which is pretty, pretty great for it to be it being all drugstore and a full, full face. I really hope you guys do enjoy this look. I appreciate all the love and support that I have been getting in the last couple of videos. Um, the love I get is just amazing. Please subscribe, like. And you can leave me a comment. You guys can leave me, leave me video ideas as well. I, they're greatly appreciated. I see you guys in my next one. Follow all my social medias. I love you guys. Bye.